हेलो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सॉरी अबाउट द टाइम थिंग वी हैव बुक द स्लॉट फॉर वन आवर बट अपियरेंटली जस्ट वन स्टूडेंट इज प्रेजेंटिंग बिकॉज वन ऑफ द अदर स्टूडेंट वॉन्टेड टू प्रेजेंट हैड इज फ्लाइट डिलेट दिस इज अर्नव अर्नव वर्क ऑन द डॉल्फिन एंड के आई यू दिस Google Summer of Code in this Google Summer of Code program, and he wants to present his project uh, to us. So, yeah. That's right. Uh, hi everyone. I am a second year undergraduate student at India, and uh, my mentors for this project were Pinay Kahuja, Budhayan Gupta. and to a large extent david ford even though he wasn't a formal mentor in my project he helped me out quite a lot with making this so uh, as the title says it's a uh, it's to help making discontinuous file sections easier and I'll explain how that works so this project uh, yeah sorry this project came out of a problem and this problem exists in all file managers which i found be it dolphin not this or even the windows file manager the problem is that it's really difficult to select a small subset of files in your file manager what i mean to say is like if you want to select some files in your file manager you have a bunch of icons and to select those icons you don't have any good tools as such you can either use control a which will select all the files in your selection or you can use control plus click to select one file at a time but neither of those options are good for many reasons for one thing if you have to use control plus click to select each file individually it requires fine motor skills if you accidentally miss a click or something you might lose your entire file selection so uh with those problems in mind i made this project and um, the other problem was as i said over here is that if you're copying a file between any two devices you have a hard disk in the middle of it which is spinning let's say not an ssd let's say let's just say a hard disk which is spinning so when you try copying something your hard disk starts spinning and then when you try to navigate to another folder to find something else to copy your hard disk is already spinning and because it's i mean spinning fast what i mean to say it's copying something and as a result of that it's slower like it just becomes very sluggish to copy another file so generally just copying files between any two devices is not a very you know good experience so my project was to rectify all these problems by creating something i call a virtual folder so in this virtual folder you can stage files what i mean to say is that you can copy files from a lot of different locations on any discontinuous file tree they don't have to be in the same hierarchy or anything you can copy all those files to a virtual folder which will save all your files in the ram what i mean to say is that it's not saving the file from the file system or anything it's just saving the url of the file in a process and then you have a selection of files which you can then copy to any other any other device or any other folder so um these files are copied they they're not copied as in the sense you're not copying the file itself you're just copying the url of the file and the advantage of that is that it's obviously a lot faster to just copy the url of the file instead of copying the whole file and um that makes your file sections a lot easier i'll show you i'll demo this too so on my right i have some actual files which are there in my home directory and this is my project so it's called stash that's the name we've given to it right now might change in the future and all these files which you see over here are not actually in any folder as such they're just pointers to real files which are somewhere else on the hard disk and um yeah so the advantage of this approach is that i can actually curate my file selections on the stash ko save itself if i want to you know like uh suppose i want only some folders in my music directory i don't want all the folders i can delete some of them and then i can i can delete some of them on the virtual file system so the advantage of that is that it's not actually touching my real file system and deleting files from there it's all being done virtually and i can curate a sub like a selection of files on my virtual thing and then copy all of the required files at once um there's a slides in the implementation so uh this is a ko slave like you might have used uh in other things such as for um for like there's a tag ko slave which vishesh handa has made over there and uh we have a 
We have KLCs for other things as well, like FTP, FISH, and HTTP as well, and Concrete might have used. So um, this is a KLC, which means it's compatible with any KIO application. You can use it as a plasmoid. You can use it in any other file manager which supports KIO. You can use it in Dolphin as well, obviously. And um, how this works is that the KIO slave is talking to a daemon which is running in the KDD5 process. So uh, this daemon is just holding the list of files and the URLs, obviously, and the source files. And uh, the KIO slave is talking to this process using dbus, qdbus more specifically. And um, we're storing all the files in something which we created uniquely for this project. It's written in Qt and it's a kind of custom virtual file system. I can get to that as well. So this is a small overview. So you have a KIO application which can be Dolphin or the Plasmoid or something. And it's talking to the KIO slave for copying, renaming and deleting. And this KIO slave is just contacting the stash daemon object which is living in the KDD5 process. It's not written over there but it is. And um, yeah, so the, so the slave and the daemon object are communicating over dbus and the KIO application is just displaying whatever the KIO slave is listing. So um, uh, that's it. The source code is of course open source and you can see it if you'd like to. Uh, yeah, does anyone have any questions? How was your experience in Google Summer of Code this year? Uh, it was pretty good. Oh, it's kind of late. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a really good experience. I learned a lot about project development and Git and, you know, just making my source code a lot more readable and well documented. So I would have never done these kind of things if I had not participated in the GSOC. So that was a very valuable experience. Yeah, please. Any other question? Uh, can I have more than one stash? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I can actually show you how this works. Um, no, you cannot actually have more than one stash as such. There's only one. But um, you can actually install this uh, right now. But the problem is that we're actually waiting on a patch in Dolphin getting accepted. This is a patch version of Dolphin which is compatible with the slave otherwise. There are a few problems which don't quite work with the existing version of Dolphin. So um, with your question, you can only have one stash, but you can, of course, have as many files or folders as you want. The performance of this is quite good. Like uh, each file staged on the stash requires only 300 bytes of RAM, uh, which is mainly just the URL, which is about that much for most files. Uh, we're still working on that because, uh, as I said, we're still waiting on Dolphin getting patched for this to work. I submitted a review request. It might take some time for that to get accepted. Yeah, please. And do you have any other? <clears throat> uh, virtual folders sound like an interesting thing, maybe not only for, for copying files, but also for like, I don't know, maybe I want to keep a selection of all my music distributed over uh, or of of my work documents that are distributed over different uh, or of a virtual folder for a project. Uh, like, do you plan to, do you have any other plans of, with this virtual folder concept sort of? Uh, we did actually. I didn't, I wasn't able to implement all of it, but uh, one of the plans was that you could save your selection. So like, if I make a selection here. Uh, oops. So one of the plans was that you could actually save your selection of files to the virtual folder and then you could load that later on. So one of the advantages of that is that like, if you have a certain selection of files which you want to copy on many devices, you can just load that selection at any time and then you can copy it to your new device. It could be like you're getting a new phone and you have some certain songs which you want to copy to it. So instead of creating a new folder for that kind of purpose, you can have a virtual folder instead. So that would obviously save some space on your disk because otherwise it would be taking space just to have duplicates of something which you already have. So yeah, so we're working on getting that implemented as well. Any other questions? Yeah. 
So um, why didn't you use something like um, like following the low-level Unix principles, for example, having a hidden folder with symlinks somewhere, um, which might be because you said like saving selection and so on, so you would then already have this selection as a folder somewhere, a hidden folder with symlinks or something like this. So now it's like really abstract, right? And your application, it's now only working with Dolphin or... Um, so if I want to do it then on some other tool, then I would have to implement this virtual file system again. That is true. Uh, yeah, so this is limited. It's uh, limited to KAO applications. Uh, well, I like obviously I didn't implement it that way because I didn't think of it. But the other thing was that at least by implementing it as a KAO slave, we have full compatibility with KAO applications like, um, yeah. Oh, okay, it's displayed here. Um, so if you have a plasmoid, for example, you can use this as well. Um, yeah, so it's mainly for compatibility with KIO applications. One other thing is that if you were to copy something like, so like the other thing which we valued in this was that you should be able to copy, you should be able to use it like a normal directory. Like uh, we didn't want to like specially modify Dolphin to get it to work. So, uh, this, so with this approach, at least you can use it like any other directory in Dolphin. You can have two, you can have two things side by side and then copy paste, vice versa. Yeah. Any other questions? How is this presented to the user? I mean, is there an, some interface or you actually have to go and type stash colon slash? Uh, as of now, it's, um, as of now, yeah, you would have to go through the location bar and type that. Uh, we could introduce a button for it as well. Preferably, like, we have the split button in Dolphin. There could be another stash button as well. So we'll probably get to that. Any other questions? So there was already the question about, like, uh, when it's available in mainline distributions. Um, yes. What is the reception generally like in whatever? I'm not involved in KDE or mm -hmm. community. So are they thinking, okay, as you say about this button, so will this be maybe something other people think it's valuable to have in the mainline version? Or do they like, yeah, okay, this might be a plugin, but it's probably not something everybody wants. Mm -hmm. uh yeah, so we don't have actual feedback from users yet because this is just created. But what I did do for the GSOC selection was to, I ran a few surveys, a few user surveys with people of the KDE community. This was fairly well received. And uh, that also went a long way in getting my proposal accepted by KDE as well. Yeah. Um, any other questions? How how easily is it portable to Windows or Mac OS X? Do you know is is there anything special to Unix Linux? Uh, there's nothing special special to Unix or Linux in this. It's written completely in Qt. So if you have KIO supported on some other platforms such as Mac OS X, I'm not sure if KIO is supported on OS X, but if it is, this would work exactly the same way. Uh, any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Arno. Yeah. So. Yeah. I would say as a chief, it was some incredible administrator talking to other uh, developers, trying to figure out who was going to um, mentor this. There were a lot of people that were really happy that Dolphin was worked on because everybody loves software, but it's. Uh. I have to admit this was the like one of the special project like for our, our admin team because apparently Dolphin was kind of semi unmaintained state so we had to find a mentor for it and that was like uh, for our admin team that this was like a special project. <laughs> yeah. We worked our tails off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, this project was actually supposed to be a Baloo project. Uh, in the beginning, like the implementation was to use Baloo to select virtual files. You can do that using extended attributes. Uh, it's a 
property with files in the file system. But uh, later on, we found that we actually wouldn't need Baloo at all. So we changed the approach as well. Yeah. Do you plan to work further on it, or will you stop working on it? <laughs> uh, it would require some more work. So yeah, I would definitely want to do that as well. OK, uh, so yes, this was the one of the Chisok pro project. Uh, we also host uh, uh, our own season of KDE pro program. And we also participate in Google Coding, Google Summer of Code, and Outreach Program for Women. Uh, so if you want to mentor, or if you want have some if you have know some students and who, who would like to participate and come to KDE community, feel free to tell, tell them about those programs. Thank you for coming. Thank you. We'll be having a buff. Yeah, we will be having a buff on Tuesday. At, uh, I'm not sure, but sorry. <laughs>